Welcome to how to set up and operate the Baofeng UV5R tran transceiver, a tutorial for newcomers to ham radio scanning and transceivers. This is part 10, Managing Channels. Any frequency that can be entered into a radio's display can be stored to memory as a channel. This makes it convenient to quickly access favorite frequencies. It allows special settings to be associated with the frequency and saved to memory. It allows it allows a channel to have one frequency for receiving signals and a different frequency for transmitting signals. The UV5R can store up to 128 channels. By selecting channel mode, we can scroll through the list of channels that we've saved and select it as our active frequency. Because the UV5R has two display lines, A and B, we can select up to two different channels to monitor at the same time. Further, we can then select one of those two channels to be our primary transmitting channel. In previous episodes, we've had the opportunity to try storing frequencies into memory. In this episode, we're going to look at the process in greater detail. Let's start with storing a frequency to memory and assigning it to a channel number. The radio is pre-programmed at the factory with four frequencies, two VHF and two UHF. Two are assigned to channels. Channel 000 is assigned to 136.025 MHz, which is a VHF, very high frequency band frequency. And channel 127, which is 470.625 MHz in the UHF, ultra high frequency band. Channels that are assigned a frequency cannot be simply overwritten. If channel 127 is assigned the frequency of 470.627 MHz, no other frequency can replace that assignment until channel 127 is deleted. Once deleted, a channel is available for reassignment to a new frequency. Here's a quick list of the steps to saving a frequency to memory, assigning it to a channel number. Let's step through this process. We'll first select frequency mode by toggling the VFO MR key. Frequency mode. You can tell that it is in frequency mode because there are no channel numbers displayed to the side. Frequencies cannot be saved to memory if the radio is in channel mode. And depending upon your particular version of UV5R radio, you may also need to select the upper display line to be the active frequency, toggling the AB key. Notice the indicator triangle that shifts each time you toggle the AB key. Right now the bottom display line is active. Another toggle makes the upper display line, line A, active. Or you may need to select the proper band with the band key. Now it's displaying a UHF frequency, ultra high frequency, and there is a VHF frequency. Older radios may not allow frequencies entered into the B display line to be stored. My radio, for example, allows me to save frequencies entered into either display line, upper or lower and the band key toggles between VHF and UHF bands. VHF band frequencies range from 136 to about 174 MHz. VHF stands for very high frequency. Ultra high frequency, the UHF band, ranges from 400 to about 520 MHz. The radio has no indicator of which band we select, if we already have stored into memory at least one VHF frequency and one UHF frequency, pressing the band button will toggle the display to show one or the other. Now it's showing a UHF and there it's showing a VHF band frequency. If I toggle the band key, I can easily see what band is selected for the top display line. If I've selected a UHF band and enter a VHF band frequency, my radio automatically recognizes the band and allows the frequency to be entered. Your radio may not allow you to enter a VHF frequency unless the band key is toggled appropriately. So 
let's at least first look how my radio handles the issue. I'm going to make sure I'm in frequency mode. Now I'm in frequency mode. I'll toggle to UHF frequency. That's showing a UHF band frequency. And if you do this and you attempt to enter a frequency but the radio does not accept it, ensure that you've set the following modes. Frequency mode by toggling the VFO key, upper display line by toggling the AB key, and the proper band by toggling the band key. So one more time. Here's the difference between VHF and UHF. I'm in UHF right now. If I were to enter, just as a test, a VHF frequency, One, four, six, five, two, zero. my radio recognizes it as VHF, despite having toggled to the UHF band frequency. Your radio may not be the same. So, let's enter our frequency. I'm going to choose a different one to, to enter into for practice memorizing, memorizing to a channel. This is an active one in my area, 145.130. I'm in the upper display line, and I am in frequency mode. I can tell that because there are no channel numbers displayed to the side. It doesn't matter whether I'm in UHF or or... VHF, although for your radio it may. I'm going to enter 145130. Now after entering the frequency, we can save it as a channel number. Step 2, opening the menu for memory channel, which is menu item 27. Menu. Memory channel. Scroll to an available channel any channel number that has not got a CH in front of it is available. Here's one with CH. Channel 0 is assigned a frequency and it places the frequency of CH. As does channel 127. It has a CH. Neither of those channels are available. So I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to choose channel 7. Confirm with menu. And exit. The prompt said receiving memory. This means that channel 7 has been assigned a frequency for receiving radio signals. The frequency of 145.130 MHz is what you will be listening to. Of course, if you press the PTT switch to transmit a signal, the radio will use that same frequency. So let's verify that channel 7 has been assigned to our new frequency. Select channel mode toggling the VFO MR key and there it is the top display line shows channel 7 is assigned the frequency of 145.130 now here's what happens if I attempt to store a new frequency into a channel that already has an assigned frequency I'll open the channel memory menu and scroll to the channel 7 so in frequency mode Enter a new frequency, 146.940. Menu 27 menu. menu. Memory channel. In memory mode, we'll scroll up to channel 7 again. Notice it has a CH. It already has a frequency assigned to it. Confirm with menu and exit. This time the prompt said transmitting memory. Now channel 7 has been assigned two different frequencies. One for receiving and one for transmitting. The reception frequency was the first one we put in 145.130. The transmission frequency is that second one 146.940. A channel with a stored frequency cannot be overwritten by storing a new frequency in that channel. The old frequency must first be deleted, then that channel memory can receive a new frequency. Saving a frequency to an already assigned channel number will save that frequency as a transmission frequency. 
that can have unintended and possibly illegal consequences. Imagine the consequences if you've added a police or fire frequency as the transmit frequency to an existing channel number. There is a good reason to have two frequencies assigned to the same channel, but that's for a later lesson. There's an easy way to determine if a channel has two different frequencies assigned to it. Select channel mode. Channel mode. Scroll to channel 7. One, two, seven, zero, seven. There's channel 7. And press the star key. The star reverses the display. Each tap of the star key on a channel reveals whether it has two channel two frequencies assigned to it. So there's the first one we entered, 145.130, tapping the star key. Now there's the second frequency, still assigned to channel 7. Channel 7 has two frequencies assigned. I can tell that that this is the receiving frequency and this is the transmission frequency because the transmission frequency has an R beside it. That means it's the reverse of what the first one was put in. It's, it's reverse mode. There's the first frequency we put in, 145.130. Pressing the star reverses the display showing the transmit frequency. So let's delete a channel. That's menu option 28. We'll delete the frequency assignments for channel 7. Menu 28. Menu. menu. Delete Press menu again to confirm. confirm. And exit. Now if we look at the channel numbers, menu 27, menu, menu and scroll up to channel 7, there is no CH prefix, meaning there is no frequency assigned to this channel any longer. Deleting a channel means removing all frequencies assigned to that channel. With the frequencies removed, that channel is now available to receive a new frequency. Let's practice. Let's add two new frequencies, one to channel 9 and one to channel 22. So in frequency mode, frequency mode. upper line displayed, let's enter 146.520. One, and we'll save this to channel 9, memory, or menu, 27 menu. Scroll up to channel 9. Confirm with menu. And exit. It said receiving memory. Let's do the same for channel 2. Go. Make sure you're in frequency mode. There's channel 9. In frequency mode. Enter a new frequency. 446000. Just a reminder, the radio requires you to enter all six digits. Even if the last digits are zeros, you still need to enter them. You don't need to enter the decimal point, but you do need to enter all six digits. So now with our new frequency displayed in line A, we're going to save that to channel 22. And I'll also show you how to jump directly to the available channel of 22. So first, Memory mode is mem menu, 27 menu. menu. Memory channel. Now jump to 022. There we are, channel 22. Confirm with menu. Receiving memory. And exit. So now if we go to channel mode, we should show two new channels, channel 9 and tw channel 22. Channel mode. There's channel 22. And scroll up. There's channel 127, zero, zero and there's our channel 9. We can verify that there's only one frequency here by tapping the star key for channel 9. No matter how I press the star key, it still shows that one frequency. 
So there's little r, meaning that's the reverse of what the re reception frequency is. There's the receiving frequency, 146.520. Reverse it with the star key, 146.520 is the transmit key. That mode is called simplex. When your, tran your receiving frequency is the same as the transmit frequency. Let's check out channel... Two, ch channel 22. Uh, it, it, there's the R, meaning I'm still in reverse mode. Tap the asterisk. So again, channel 22 has just one frequency in it. No matter what we press with the star key, it's showing the same frequency for receive and transmit. That's good practice. Thank you. This has been How to Set Up and Operate the Baofeng UV5R Transceiver a tutorial for newcomers to ham radio, scanning, and transceivers. All of the episodes of this video tutorial series may be found on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Milt Reynolds. I'm Milt Reynolds, KJ7PPX, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. 73.